Uh-oh, it's Cannon and Gretchen, and you know what that means. It's back to school video! <laughs> Some of us have not seen, you know, the previous two videos. You know, we've, we've done this twice now, and it never gets old. Uh, so tell us, some of us haven't seen who who are you? I'm Cannon. And I'm Gretchen. I'm homeschooling again. And what about you? I'm going to a physical school. Called okay, an actual called what? JT Moore. Oh, okay, great. I'm so you're you 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 were at home for school last year, but now you're at JT Moore for school. Yes. Are, so you're switching schools. Are you going to stick with the same home though? Yes. Would you like to know what it is? Uh, surprise us, I guess. Okay, how about Dinox? Who's excited for Dinox? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Wow. David Knox is going to help us this year. building the video. I have another curveball for you. It's a GoPro video camera! Yes! Yeah. It's a GoPro! So what we're going to do is we're going to let Canon put this on. And so we'll be able to see your perspective from oh, the cool. video. How about that? That's going to be awesome. So, can I put your arm through there? David, what have we prepared for them to get them ready for back to school? We have prepared a short back to school quiz for the two of you. ABC box. That's right. Good job. Next okay. item. Books. books. Like uh, text textbooks. Excellent. That's easy. Protractor. Protractor. That's right. Protractor. Fabulous. Good work. Wow. Like compass. Yes. Compass. That's, That's easy. I, my dad keeps but his portfolio in there. But it's That's called... A trapper keeper. trapper keeper. Very good. Absolutely fabulous. All right. Next. That is a... It's a floppy disk. Yes. Floppy, floppy disk. disk. Floppy disk. Wonderful. That's... That's an old Apple computer. Apple. There's even an Apple right there. An Apple... An Apple... Exolator 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Apple 2C. That is a graduated cylinder. Yeah. Now, one final chicken. question. A what chicken. is that thing? That's a chicken. That's a, that's a no, it's a, chicken. This is another science. This is, a, this is another science question. Scientist. question. It's a... Graduated chicken. No. no guys. <laughs> I've been, to this point, very impressed at the Magic. educational system that has produced so much intelligence. And what yet, I'm a little frustrated. It's a Muppet. That's right. It's I said called puppet. I Beaker. I said Puppet. No, it's a Muppet. It's a Puppet. That it's is a, a Muppet? Chicken. Yes, that is a it's a Muppet. Okay, we got some work to do with the Link family and the Clayton family on Muppets. All right, now. Cannon, you came prepared with a poem to be yes, read today. I do. And it's a back-to-school okay. poem? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, let's hear, let's hear it. Okay. Actually, how about I read the first stanza, you read the second, and then we go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. okay. School is here. I guess we should have no fear. Although it is sad to see summer go and have no more lazy afternoons to blow. Instead of popsicles and pools, we'll have alarm clocks in schools. Instead of cookouts and camps, we'll have homework and writing cramps. Instead of fishing in creeks and searching for creatures, we'll have assignments and lectures from teachers. I guess th though God does not want me to be down or wear a sad frown. For perhaps this school year brings new opportunities to grow, to learn, and make new communities. Maybe before this new year comes to an end, I might be taller or smarter or have a new friend. So now I think this is all very inviting. A brand new chance to do my best my best is quite exciting. This this school thing I think is great. What I'm saying is a switch and bait. You can have your late nights, flip flops and sunscreen. I think school will help me live my dream. So this school year, I'm going to work hard and do my best. I know God will bless me and take care of the rest. And that's it. If we're honest, there's going to be days this year where you, you just don't feel good or things aren't working out the way you hoped it would or you're just having a rough day. Is there a, 
a verse from Scripture or a story from Scripture that in those moments you'll be able to lean on and think about to help you through those days? Probably the last thing that Jesus said was, surely I am always with you. And like say you're having a crummy day in school, just think about that verse and like Jesus Christ is with me right now and, th and this is his world. He created this and he knows what's going to happen and what has happened. Okay, well there's a verse number six, twenty-four through 26. And I forgot what it is exactly, but it's something like, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord smile upon you and give you his, in favor and give you his peace or something like that. That's good. David, what are we gonna finish this video with? A group hug. Who's ready? Huh? Who wants to get over here? Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, my face is right on your ear. Oh, this is can somebody reach the turn it off? I just hit the just hit the power button.